Hey guys, it's Chris. From paying to enter and living with your family to some of the strangest punishments, here are nine of the most unusual prisons in the world. Number 9. Stanford Prison Experiment It's not weird for various schools or universities to go and make up their own unique studies or tests to try and prove something. But for Stanford University, they decided to do an experiment with the approval and funding of the Office of Naval Research in which they would put students and a few volunteers into a prison-like scenario and then test how it would affect them over the course of a couple weeks. What do you think? Would you participate in this kind of experiment? Let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking I probably wouldn't, because the scenario went like this. They were brought to a prison and given roles. Some were prisoners, some were guards, and one person was the warden. Then over the course of time, things would go on like they were in an actual prison. Guards would escort prisoners, prisoners would have to obey certain rules or be punished, and the warden would get to make decisions and so on and so forth. And while this may seem harmless at first, it quickly devolved into a case of psychological absorption, meaning the students and volunteers actually played their parts a little too well. The power that the guards and warden had over the prisoners was exerted, and the prisoners either fought back or took the abuse because they felt it would be the best way to get through the situation. Not the experiment here, the situation. The experiment itself didn't even last a full week, because after six days, many of the prisoners walked out. They just had enough. This event was later made into an award-winning movie, and the experiment is referenced in many psychological textbooks. However, some actually believe that this whole thing was faked in various ways, done in a pattern to help provide results for the scientists instead of just letting things happen. Whether that's true or not can't be proven. Number 8. San Pedro Prison In Bolivia, there's a prison known as San Pedro, and it's the largest prison within the country itself. However, while it may seem like a regular prison on the outside, it's nothing like you would think it would be on the inside. The reason for this is that it's a lot less like a prison and more like an actual city, just one that is guarded and has prison guards in it. In fact, many inmates actually live in San Pedro with their own families, not in terms of them being on the other side of the wall or a visitor area, but they full-on live with them in the compound. Furthermore, each of the 3,000 inmates that live here actually have to pay for rent in their cells. So to do that, they get jobs within this community to allow them to pay their rent. In many ways, they're living another life within the prison that they were put into to get out of their original lives. While this might sound like a good idea, remember it still is a prison. The worst part is that the drug trade thrives in this prison, and prisoners will sell the base elements for cocaine to visitors not living in the prison so they can make some serious cash. There is very little traditional structure within San Pedro, and thus many consider it a society more than a prison. If you can believe it, there are even higher-end sections of the prison that you can live in for a better life. The sections of the prison are Posta, Pinos, Alamos, San Martin, Prefectura, Palmar, Grunai, and Cancha. Of these, Posta, Pinos, and Alamos are considered the higher-end communities and act similar to gated communities. Money certainly talks here. Number 7. Cebu Prison Located in the Philippines, Cebu Prison is a place that has gotten a lot of attention over the years because of their unique take on inmate reform. Usually, this would mean that the guards and warden do horrible things to the inmates to try to get them to reform. But in the case of Cebu Prison, the warden got inspiration from the classic movie The Shawshank Redemption and decided to put the prisoners to work by getting them to dance. And no, this is not for his amusement, though I'm sure he was amused, but rather to teach them coordination and to get some exercise in a rather enjoyable manner. From 2005 to 2010, the inmates were known as the CPDRC Dancing Inmates and would perform very choreographed routines of hit songs, including doing the classic dance for Thriller after the passing of Michael Jackson. When this was done, it was posted online for the world to see, and most of the world loved it. Due to this, more dances and routines were posted online, and thus the prison camp became famous almost overnight. However, while many eyes of the world were on them in the entertainment sense, many were skeptical and critical of these performances, as they felt this wasn't rehabilitating and that it was taking away from the purpose of the program in order to have fun and be famous. 
Due to that, in 2010, the program was shut down, and those who were a part of the program either resigned or weren't signed back on for longer terms with the prison. But when this happened, public outcry asked for them to bring it back, which they did, except the dances weren't made public again. The CPDRC is now on regular operations. The dancing continues to be one of the rehabilitation activities, said the head of Cebu Prison, who also noted public performances will resume once the mechanism for full accountability on donations are in place. As of now, they have not returned, mainly because the inmates refuse to do them without the public seeing them. Number 6. Halden Prison when you think of the word prison, one of the things that pops into your mind, no doubt, is that it's a place that's meant to invoke punishment, meaning that it will be very different from your world and you'll have a variety of new rules to follow. But in the case of Halden Prison in Norway, that's not the case. In fact, it's referred to as the most humane prison in the world. That's not to say, of course, that other prisons aren't humane. There are laws in place to make sure that prisons can follow the Geneva Convention bylaws about treating people fairly. But for Halden Prison, they take it to the next level. In many ways, the prisoners of this place are treated like regular citizens on vacation. And some of the things they can expect in Halden include good food, hot coffee, and cells that boast televisions, mini fridges, private bathrooms, and scenic views of the surrounding forest. That actually sounds better than my apartment, which might lead you to believe that this is a white-collar prison for those who are non-violent. But that's not true. Halden actually holds some of the worst criminals in the nation and in other nations. This makes it all the weirder that they're treated in this way. But there's a catch to this. During an interview, the warden of the prison was asked about attack figures and the amount of times prisoners or staff are sent to the hospital section. And to the amazement of the observer, the warden said he honestly couldn't remember the last time an attack happened and that there have been very few in his tenure. What do you think? Can such a place exist? So how can such a place exist? That's due to the Norwegian way of justice where they value the art of rehabilitation over the punishment aspect. They spent over a billion dollars making this prison, and it's still called prison, even despite many describing it as a hotel for hardened criminals. Number 5. Kresti Prison Many prisons in Russia have a bad reputation for how they treat those inside their walls, and in the case of Kresti Prison, this former facility lived up to that hype and more. At first, it was built as a wine storage place in the 1730s, but eventually in 1867, it was turned into a prison that could hold about 700 people. In the 1900s, after several upheavals in the Russian government, the prison was expanded to hold over 1,100 inmates. The problem was that by the 1960s, it got a new purpose as a pre-trial place for inmates to go, and this led to it getting very overcrowded very quickly. Once the 1990s came around, there were about 12,500 inmates at Kresti Prison, over 10 times what the prison was built for. It was so bad that at times there were two dozen inmates in a single room, and they had to shift around each other to get anywhere, and they would have to take turns using the very small bunk beds. Eventually, the prison would be shut down, and new ones would be built to handle the overflow and ensure that something like this didn't happen again. The prison is now a museum and a hotel. So what do you think? Would you stay here for a night? I wouldn't. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 4. Canto Grande Prison There's a phrase in the world today known as the inmates running the asylum, which is a reference to how if order isn't used on those who need it, things can get quite chaotic. However, in Peru, within the Canto Grande Prison, there was a situation that occurred to where the inmates did run the asylum and it actually went kind of well. Well, for a while, anyways. The story is thus. This prison was once run by guards, real actual guards, but over time, the communist way of the group known as the Shining Path quite literally started to shine through to the inmates. Thus, they rose up, challenged the guards, and basically took the prison for themselves. Mind you, they didn't leave the prison, far from it. They made it their home base. Once they were in control, they set up a rigorous yet educational schedule for the inmates wanting to join the Shining Path, including learning about Marx, Mao, Lenin, and more leaders of the movement, and then teaching them how to grow things, cook, and of course, making weapons and bombs. 
You might think that this could not happen because eventually someone would fight back, and they did. But it took a long time. Peru is known for its corruption on many levels of the government and the police and military force, which played to the prisoners' advantages as they went and bribed, threatened, and other things to help secure power for themselves. Eventually, the police endorsed by the non-corrupt Prime Minister of Peru ordered the prison to be recaptured. While they were successful, it cost many lives and took much longer than they expected because the prisoners were smart enough to remake the prison in their own image, including making walls, painting murals, and even making an oven for cooking bread. Number 3. Squirrel Cage Jail If you were an inmate at Squirrel Cage Jail in Pottawatomie County, Iowa, you were treated to one of the most unique, albeit unusual, prison designs in the known world. Because when you think of a prison layout, the prison you likely picture has square or rectangular cell blocks that go down a row or go up many floors to contain all the prisoners. But in the case of this prison, well, that wasn't true. On the inside of this prison was a squirrel cage design, one that would have a guard sitting outside a section of cells. And when he needed to go view them, all he would have to do is rotate the cells so he could see them. Yes, this was a prison that had a rotating set of cells. The purpose behind this is remarkably simple. Past prisons have proven time and time again that if a prison guard gets too close to the inmates, things can go wrong. But with this design, he can keep his distance, make sure the prisoners aren't doing anything untoward, and not worry about interacting with them. The prison was eventually shut down, but not before making an impact on the jail world in regard to how clever you can get, in regard to keeping your prisoners locked up and the guards safe. Number 2. Maricopa County Jail the question of how to treat prisoners in order to ensure they don't commit new crimes once they're out in the world again, or to punish them for the crimes they committed already, has long been a debate topic in the world. And for the prisoners of Maricopa County Jail, they found themselves on the stick end of the argument. This place has another name that is very appropriate given all that goes on there. Tent City Jail. This jail made its claim in Arizona, and for the longest time was under the guidance of the sheriff of the county. Joe Arpaio, who believed that the best punishment for his prisoners was to let them literally sweat it out in the heat of the Arizona sun. Given the heat in Arizona can be well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit at times, many considered this to be completely inhumane. But Arpaio did not care. They worry about the heat, but I say this over and over again. Our men and women are in Iraq, Afghanistan. It's about 115 degrees. They're serving our country, Arpaio said. As for the living accommodations, that would be a series of tents that served only to give some slight shade and increase the heat even more in certain cases. Eventually, the jail was shut down. When Arpaio was defeated in an election in 2016, the new sheriff reversed many of his older policies, including the prison. Number 1. Forteza Medicea Prison In many ways, Forteza Medicea Prison is just what you might expect from a prison. It has high-profile inmates, cells that are made of steel and are uncomfortable, and so on and so forth. The biggest difference, though, is in regard to the food that is served there. This prison is in Italy, a country renowned for its amazing food. And so the prisoners are allowed to not just eat high-quality Italian food, they themselves get to make it. And considering that the inmates here are former mafia members, robbers, and more, this shows that their culinary skills are as good as their criminal ones. But that's not really the end of it, because within Forteza Medicea prison is a restaurant, one that is frequented by the people of Italy. And yes, the food made there is made by the inmates, albeit in a way where the inmates can't hurt the patrons. In fact, security is so tight that every single patron who comes into the restaurant must be searched for anything that could be given to the inmates. The restaurant is so popular that it's booked weeks in advance of certain dates. Also, as is typical with Italian venues, there's an opera-style singer there too, and he's also an inmate. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these very unusual prisons in the world? Can you believe some of the things that have gone on in these prisons? Which of these do you think is the weirdest of the bunch? And do you know of other prisons that you think should have been on the list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time.